single receiver. Back goes Sims. Sims pumps. He's going for everything. Deep, deep, but make it. Touchdown, and he's in. Yes! While you served. Fourth quarter, Bledsoe looking for Troy Brown. Dave Meggett intercepts his own guy, so to speak. The ball wasn't even meant for him. But if you think the catch was fat, check out the run. Meggett, the tenth different guy that Drew has thrown a touchdown pass to this year. It's Dave's first touchdown of the year. He's got to see the run again. Nobody would deny his 20. Sides of the ball as Bledsoe served up three scoring strikes on the day including a 49-yarder to an unintended receiver. It's caught by Megan at the 25, at the 20, at the 15, right side, right at the 10, cuts it back into the 5, driving down and in, touchdown! The first fourth quarter score. Broken for a much bigger play by someone who has more foot speed than Manuel, not a real fleet receiver. First down, a little screen out to Megan. He's into 49er territory. He's inside the 30. He's inside the 20. Megan staying in back. Touchdown. Oh, that's a big-time play. I didn't see any way that Meggett was going to get into the end zone. So let's pick it up at the end. 49ers anticipating pass. Giants come at the screen, gets a good block, springs it into the open now. Watch the... He almost looks like he's playing like he's wide open, then he eases off and puts it into another gear. He eases up and takes it right away from Chet Brooks. Brooks had the angle. Brooks had everything this drive. The block by William Roberts, and again... Chet Brooks has the angle, and Megan, I think, surprising Brooks with that burst of speed. Sims has the ball. Sims throws, completes the left side. Megan out of the backfield, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, he'll score! And Lions for the Giants rally. On the punt, Dave Megan goes to his right, changes direction. And TJ, look at that little maggot run. He's going to go 56 yards for the scamper. The G-men went for two. Who's watch. They tried to run a screen pass to Megan. He juggled it. And he's still going. Megan could be gone. On third and 31. Touchdown and no flags anywhere. Seven yards by Megan. Great run and a great catch, Pat, but I'll tell you, there was a heck of a block by William Roberts out there. The block that springs him is the left guard, number 66, William Roberts. Watch him here. Megan makes a heck of a catch, but watch 66 come and make the block on Mecklenburg right there. That's the one that broke him. Now Maggot makes some moves and some big plays on his own. The one guy Dan Reeves was worried about, he told us yesterday. Broncos, here it is again. Hey, you got to get those big linemen out in front of those little backs. And there's a big lineman out in front of a little back. When he knocks a guy down, Maggot does the rest. That's a heck of a run. 14-0, Giants. Even in the best of conditions, Denver's Mile High Stadium is a most inhospitable place. But it was this on two to ten. Giants go three and out. They punt. Here's Dave Meggett receiving on his own 40. Goes up the middle. A couple of moves. Can the punter get him? He never can get him. That's a touchdown, 60 yards. Now it's 22 to 17. This is my house, says Meggett. At least battle back in the second half. And Dave Meggett made one of the biggest plays of the game, returning a punt 60 yards to bring the Patriots within five. Mitch Berger with his second kick. It is a short kick. And Dave Meggett on the run. At the 32, he's got a head of steam going. Dave Meggett with only the kicker to beat. Bounces.
bounces off Berger and scores. Special teams we knew would be a big plus this year in the National Football League with the rule changes. But hey, Dave Meggett freaks something to the death that nobody can bring. And that's, he's got a lot of guts. He knows and understands how everything's set up in front of him. And then the guy just can make people miss. Watch the great block to get this whole thing going on Kenny Rose. See him miss. Now watch, make it in the open field. The bounce. And now he knows where he wants to go. He knows where everything's set. But he's really in it right there. See that? That's a nice block right there by Jesse Armstead on Odin. And that opens the whole thing up. He gets down the sideline. And it, look, this is what you can't teach right here. See, so slow down, get back inside. The guy doesn't go on. Of course, you know, he beat a kicker. Then what you should do is go out and beat the kicker for missing the tackle. He tried. We're into a touchdown before David Meggett's spectacular game-breaking punt return. And the buck by Berger, a bad one, bounces the 40, takes a Philadelphia bounce. Mega will run for the 31, gets the 40, 45, gets the 50. One man back is Berger. Berger slows him down, hits him, and he still takes the tackle. He will score! What a run! With a cup cooler. Back live, the kick away by Siegel. Nugget will seal it at the 32. He's got some room. He gets the block. He's got one man to beat. It's Beagles. He beat it. Touchdown, New York. game very physically but I, I thought the key block there really was by Dave Dewerson the acquisition number 26 the acquisition from the Bears you're gonna see him make a block right there and Dewerson led the way for Dave Megan Sammy Lilly shaking up on the play a play before Byers came limping out again he may be through for the night so suddenly the Eagles in desperate straits what a run by Megan yeah yeah you know Dave Megan has that kind of ability with Dave Meggett's special teams heroics, the Giants put the Eagles away for good. And the punt's coming down to Meggett. He takes it at his own 32. Runs right. Gets across the 35 to the 40. 45, 50. He's at the 45. He might go. One man to stop at the kicker. He's by the kicker. He'll score. The victory was an important first step towards defending New York's NFC. In three previous attempts, have never beaten the Bucks in Tampa. Dave Meggett got the Giants started early. This is what he does best. You put him on a kickoff or a punt and return and just hang on to your britches. Guy's got great speed, great elusive, been a little, you know. To return a punt for a touchdown in each of his first three seasons. Stands, drops low. Meggett will take it at the 30. 35, 40, good run. 30, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35. He might be gone. He's at the 15, and he... But in 1991, no game seemed to go by without its share of adversity. In Tampa, a slew of injuries, including the one that ended Jeff Hostetler's season, cast a pall over the... Hard to believe. Then Dave Meggett fields the punch, scoots, moves, and... Down the sideline, you betcha, touchdown. Giants are rolling. Giants went ahead with a pair of Phil Simms touchdown passes before a Dave Meggett punt return secured a win and a playoff berth. High, carries well. And again, Meggett is not calling for a fair catch. Runs it to the 30. Loses a tackle at 35, 40. He's at the 45, 50. He's at the 45. He's down the sideline. He will score. 75 yards. In a situation where 
you've got a pass, you are at a tremendous disadvantage. Gossett punts for Los Angeles, a proven cold weather putter for his years at Cleveland. He drives Meggett deep. Dave Meggett, a rookie who's going to the Pro Bowl, breaks it across the 35. He's not done till he crosses the 40. Get on his feet. Meggett could go the distance. Dave Meggett's inside the 30. No one will catch him now. And the rookie from Towson State takes it the distance with no flags on the field. the guy that has scared this Raider team the entire week. He is just named to the Pro Bowl, and when that happens to you, what inspires you to go out and is to show everybody else this is the reason why I'm going to the Pro Bowl, and make it here just with a great run, keeps his feet and just keeps on coming. That is just a spectacular punt return, and he... Megan waiting for the ball at the giant 33-yard line. Jager gets it in the air. It's a good kick. It's carrying deep. Megan backs inside the 25. Cross to the 30 going left. Alusa tackle 35. Gets down to the 40 yard line. He's free to the 45. He's at the 50. 45. He's at the 40. He might go. He's going to make it all the way. Runs back for a touchdown. And it goes to Wreckett. First to 72. It goes to Wreckett. Megan is on the left side. And a short kick. Looking to return is Megan on the seven. Megan finds open field. One man to beat is McMillan, the rookie. And Megan is headed for the end zone. for Dave Meggett. What a difference a week makes for the Giants. Longest career kickoff return for Dave Meggett until today was 58 yards. He blasted that one out of the books with a 92-yard touchdown return. And the Giants lead it 16-6. to Meggett, he might start having nightmares about Dave Meggett because this is just pure Meggett here. He's getting some blocking, but not a whole heck of a lot of support. Now it's just speed and moves. The last guy's the rookie, McMillan. Boy, he ripped his lip biting on that one. Running down the field, he could get caught at the end, but he won't be caught at the end. He just would not let it happen. Started running a little upright there, got a little tired. Like you said, Dick, 50. Here comes the kickoff. High in the air. Good hang. Giants are going to run the ball. It comes to Megan inside the 10. He splashed right to the 15. Gets to the 20-yard line, 25. Cuts back to his left side. Gets the 30-yard line. Gets the 35. He's got the 40. He's got one more shot at the 50-yard line. Still on his feet. He's at the 30. He's going to get the 20. He will score. Touchdown. While Megan has been a hit from day one,